So in this fourth under video, we're going to be looking at the German tech tree throughout the ranks. If you want to find what tech tree you should play within fourth under, I do have a video on that. And basically these types of videos are going to go in more in depth in the tech trees that we talked about and talking about through the ranks of the tech trees. So for a little bit of a disclaimer here, I do not have everything ground out for Germany, but I do have all the way to rank seven, which is what we're going to be looking at mostly. This isn't going to be a vehicle individuality basis because, you know, I don't have everything spaded out and I don't have everything ground out. So that'll be pretty pretty much impossible to do but what, what we will be talking about is basically the lineups around the rank and how the rank performs within the game if you like these types of videos remember to like and sub to the channel it is very much appreciated and with the support from you guys we can make more of these videos and help out the community whenever it comes to the tech trees of war thunder also a little reminder if you want to see a particular rank within the german tech tree the time cards will be in the description and as well as you can you know use a little scrubber bar to figure out where it is in the video so starting out with Germany at rank one, they probably have one of the best rank ones within the game, especially with the Panzer II Cs and the F, and you also have some early Panzer IVs which have a heat shell that has over 100 millimeters of pen. The thing about the rank ones for Germany is, is that some of the vehicles are kind of subpar, especially with the SPAs like the Flak Panzer I and the Flak Panzer 38. The issue with these vehicles is that they only have two crew, and whenever you only have two crew within a vehicle or they're exposed to the elements with not having any sort of cover to, you know, take cover against, you basically run into an issue of if one crew get sniped especially in realistic battles you don't have a tank anymore you basically get you know killed whenever it comes to the game the thing about the rank ones is that there's a plentiful number of them so you'll be able to easily go down the tech tree itself the stuck 3a is one of the, probably the highlights i can say that's towards the end of the rank one tree you know the stuck 3a is a pretty good vehicle whenever it comes to everything the panzer fours like i said the panzer threes though they're kind of a little bit lackluster just because of the gun that they get they only get the 50 millimeter and to be honest that little 50 millimeter is is not as powerful as you think it should be there's a couple little mean vehicles like the 150 centimeter you know stern panzer you also have the panzer jager which is a pretty interesting vehicle and you also have the little squeeze board which is a uh, at rank one which is a uh, pretty interesting to think about as well overall the rank one for germany is probably one of the best you do have a lot of filler i would say within the rank one where you don't really need these vehicles but the panzer 2c's you know the panzer fours with the early short barrel 75s they're really good within the tech tree itself and a highly recommend actually playing those vehicles now when it comes to rank two for germany the rank two is a little bit like i would say hit or miss whenever it comes to me you have a bunch of the panzer fours with the you know 75 you have stuff like the thicker max the martyrs which are pretty good but in my opinion i think the stugs are probably some of the best in the rank two area just because i don't know i really do like the stugs you don't really get many opportunities to play them because most of the time they're very low tier and there really isn't any more that they can add except for like the stug four which would be a pretty interesting one to come to game i'm assuming at some point those will probably event vehicles whenever it comes to everything but you do have stuff like the puma which is a 3.0 tank it is pretty good it's got a lot of mobility to it and easily can be up tiered you know be as a passive scout or you can use it to you know play at its current br 3.0 and basically just run around the whole enemy team because you're super quick the panzer threes again the panzer three j1 the l and the m like i said the 50 millimeter is something to be desired whenever it comes to war thunder i don't really prefer it it kind of feels like a panther in a way and uh we'll talk about the panther later and it's going to be a very controversial opinion about it but it feels like a panther gun you know it's kind of it's got a decent amount of pin but once you pin sometimes you know it's it's a little bit hit or miss if you're actually going to kill the tank because of you know the way the round reacts to the arm it shoots into uh just like the other time the panzer fours they're pretty good they uh definitely are under tiered for what i would consider them especially the h and j now which are 3.7 for some reason i think those vehicles easily could be 4.0 whenever it comes to everything but i'm assuming that you know since the armor on them is pretty weak and they're pretty easy to kill because it's basically Basically just a flat box like uh, I believe and maybe the t-34s the Shermans were giving these guys a little bit of trouble and they kind of moved them down in BR whenever it comes to SPA for rank 2 though the SPA is something else to be desired as well you do have a truck which is a 37 that 37 is not the best whenever it comes to SPA most of the time I see people killing tanks with it and then you also have the one that's the 15 millimeter but the problem with the 15 is the range on it is not the best but you do have a little bit of a better SPA that you can use uh, for this battle rating whenever it comes to everything the dicker max is a funny one because it's probably the first area of where you just have massive pin for a tank destroyer and this tank actually is pretty good to use whenever you find stuff like kv1e's or kv1b's uh, that maybe get thrown onto the enemy team that you just can't get rid of that's so a really good tank to have in your lineup just for those vehicles that you know just hard to get rid of because this is basically a anything deleter because of how low this thing is went down in br this thing back in the day funny enough used to be the vehicle that was the easiest 
to get rid of Jumbo Shermans with because it was easily able to pin it, which is a, uh, you know, interesting thing to think about. Now it's 3-7 for some reason. But yeah, I'm assuming just because, you know, it's open top, you know, there's a lot of things that can just gun them out. And, you know, it's, a, it's you know, a little bit harder to play in the current meta of War Thunder. The Martyrs are also pretty good whenever it comes to everything. Uh, they basically just have, you know, a 75 on them. You know, they're pretty interesting to play. I would still say the Stugs are a little bit better than them whenever it comes to everything. And, you know, it is a enjoyable experience. But yeah, I think rank two, I would say if I have to like rate it on how good it is, I'd probably say it's about like a six out of 10. You know, there is some highlights within the rank two for Germany, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of average. You know, there's not many vehicles that I would say is like meta defining within this battle rating, but you know, it is pretty interesting. And I do highly recommend trying out the Panzer IVs because right now they're probably very under tiered for what they are. And they're pretty good whenever it comes to War Thunder. So rank three Germany, this is probably the BR that a lot of people started playing War Thunder and they're like oh boy i either want the panther or i want the good old tiger so this is probably one of the highlights of the german tech tree just because of those two vehicles within this like uh you know rank but overall like rank three is probably very average in my opinion and the reason behind that is because of the way that the panthers have actually uh went into the game in my opinion and this is my opinion only the panther d i don't really like i don't really like the vk either i do like the vk over the panther d because of the mobility but the thing about the panthers is the gun and the reason i don't like the gun of the panther is because the unreliability of it and what i mean by that is it only has 28 grams of tnt equivalent whenever it comes to its uh round so a lot of the time you'll actually shoot stuff like jumbos you'll shoot stuff like t-34s and you'll pin them but you won't do as much damage because either the fuel tanks either ate the shell or you know sometimes you just had a little bit of bad of a shot and you're not able to you know confirm the kill by no means i think the like panther's gun is bad but i don't think it's the best and i think there's a reason behind the reason i just don't like panthers because they're very slow especially at the rank threes of you know the panther d the vk with their turret rotation speed but overall i think like you know the tiger and the panther are you know they're, they're fun to play but they're not the best in the world to you know grind out into uh you know spade because you know there's a ton of new vehicles that's been added to war thunder like the m51s which basically just mean even if you're angling in your tiger you can still get pinned by them you have stuff like the m teens which are able to get on your flanks you have you know the stabilizers from america you have the insane rounds of like the t-3485 which basically means if they pin you you're dead and it's a little bit of a struggle whenever it comes to this nation now whenever it comes to rank three for germany and i don't really want to like uh, you know just talk about the tiger and the panther because there is more to this rank within uh war thunder and i think it is very good for actually having a lineup for like tank destroyers so you have like i think if you count premiums you have more but i think with just a tech tree you have a good amount of just tank destroyers went in your lineup so the four three with the uh, hetzer and the jack panzer four and stewart and mill you can also bring the 88 with you with the 88 flak truck uh this is a very good lineup if you ever have you know like uh either either like battle pass challenges or just like event challenges where you have to get so many kills with uh spgs because basically your whole lineup can be an spg and it makes that go really quickly that's what i mainly use rank three germany for is just having those spg lineups where i'm able to you know get a lot lot of spg kills i don't really play the panther or the tigers as much anymore just because i feel like to me there's a there's a lot better lineups whenever it comes to five seven five three within the game you know the shermans to me are better the t34 85 to me is better whenever it comes to that sort of thing and overall i'm not really that impressed by those vehicles anymore uh, whenever it comes to war thunder so yeah i do think rank three is a really good rank for germany but i do think it is very great because there's just a td lineup that basically has a whole entire lineup where you're able to play tank destroyers and that makes events way easier to do in war thunder so now let's look at the rank four for germany rank four is where you get some of the long 88s and you also get some very good panthers within the game the panther a and the panther f you also get the panther g which easily goes into the five seven lineup and whenever you're grinding out germany i highly recommend before you go into six three before you go into six seven or even six zero, is go ahead and get these five sevens out of the way like the panther g or the panther a or the waffen traeger because once you get to these 
he's like six three six sevens the panthers especially the five seven panthers are no longer that good whenever it comes to that they do struggle versus uh some of those vehicles like the is3 you know the is4m and i highly recommend just putting those into your tiger lineups and easily just you know spading them there don't up tier panthers because they they just get pinned by everything their armor doesn't matter anymore and then also their gun is pretty weak compared to everything else especially the armor that you'll have to be facing but whenever it comes to this rank rank four is really good the tiger 2h i think is one of the best six sevens within the game just because of the 88 is very reliable whenever it comes to you know pinning it has a pretty good reload on it and also the tank itself has pretty good armor i mean there's been some negatives to the tiger twos over the years like there always is the ammo rack in the back of the turret now but if you know how to play this tank and you know how to brawl with it because i don't think the era of sniping anymore is very useful within war thunder because of you know just how many people have like heat shells and everything now but if you're able to brawl with it if you're able to you know use maps like stalingrad normandy and you know just put your put your tank in the face of the enemy this tank can still do really well because of the uh you know reload rate and as well as just you know being able to angle with it and all that sort of stuff you also have things like the walker bulldog and for the longest of time germany was lacking a actual light tank within this battle rating and luckily enough the you know walker bulldog is actually came to the game it used to be the ru251 which was a premium that was in the 67 area that used to be the light tank of this battle rating but now the bulldog i think is a very well welcomed replacement now it is 6-3 so you can run it in a bunch of the other lineups like the jack panzer 4-5 but it does serve well in the 6-7 lineup with the with the tiger 2h especially in like an up tier where maybe you don't want to take the tiger 2h just because you'll see stuff like the leopards or you see stuff like m60s you know t54s stuff that can easily pin you the bulldog is really good as a scout you know it does have the heat fs shell which is a little bit different compared to like the japanese and as well as the us walker bulldog but overall it's really good the only vehicle to me at least that i don't prefer is the ferdinand just because you know the ferdinand once you know how to kill this thing it is very easy to kill you know if you try to angle this thing you have the little plates it can shoot at you have the jack panzer g1 which is a weird name i don't remember it actually being named that but this one's actually pretty good as well it's 6-0 it easily has one of the best cannons at 6-0 being the long 88 and can do very well whenever it comes to that the thing to talk about though is the spa the oswin is pretty bad whenever it comes to everything if you want an actual spa just use a warble win it's way better whenever it comes to killing stuff in the air the oswin in my opinion is a vehicle that is uh it's kind of hit or miss really i mean there's not really a reason to use it over the warble win if you're trying to shoot it planes but if you're trying to shoot at tanks i believe the oswin might be a little bit better overall i think the rank four for germany is really nice you have stuff like the tiger twos the walker bulldog is a very nice addition but you do have a little bit of a issue with like the jack panzer 45 ferdinand and waffen dragon which i don't think are really great vehicles within war thunder so now we're on to rank five of germany rank five is a little bit of an interesting area because you start to like transition from the world war ii of germany to the modern day of germany with the leopards and as well as the m48 but you do have a little bit of some world war ii tanks at rank five being the jag tiger and as well as the kugelblitz we'll talk about those first because i highly recommend getting those first because you know the jag tiger is six seven and it easily can go in a tiger two lineup and it's a vehicle that you do not want to up tier trust me you do not want to it's already bad at six seven whenever it comes to everything the kugelblitz on the other hand is spa most people just killed tanks with it back in the day but at the end of the day it is pretty decent at being an spa just because it is you know not open top and you're able to use it you know a little bit a little bit effectively you know versus stuff like you know cannon cast with like p47s uh just like mg and yacht they can still do it but it's a little bit harder to do now let's talk about the meat and the potatoes of you know the german rank five which is the leopard it's the leopard one this is probably one of the vehicles that you probably looked out for throughout war thunder's history the leopard one one is a really nice vehicle especially since they've updated the rangefinder where basically you, you have a laser rangefinder but it does not auto update for you so you're still having to use you know your your eyeballs to see where to shoot at or use your little thing to change your range but at the end of the day the leopard one i would say is probably the best seventh there in the game like even even at seven seven it can still do really well it's kind of crazy to me and the the reason is really crazy to me is like the m48 if you if you know war thunder there's a ton of m48s within a game you know america has one israeli has one uh you know you have some for even like uh you know uh, what's another one i think china has one you know everyone pretty much has an m48 at some point you know israel has a couple of them and at the end of the day it's crazy to me that the leopard one is still the same battle rating as a m48 with the with the 90 mil not the 105 it, it, 
to me at least, I think the, the Leopard's just better. And it's crazy that it's not went back up to 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm just wondering, are people doing poor in this thing? You know, are people doing, you know, different things with it? I mean, I'm very confused about it. And I feel like, you know, the Leopard 1 is a really, really good vehicle. Now, let's talk about the vehicles, which are kind of decent, but not really great. The DF-105. DF-105, when it was 7-3, was a really good vehicle. The problem with it now being at 7-7 seven, seven is that you have to see a lot more of the A3, you know, 8-7 lineup for like China. China, which are basically just stabilized vehicles and this thing is a amx 1390 or no it's a 105 but it's like an amx 1390 put on a i think it's a martyr chassis so it's a little bit weird vehicle you do have the auto loader which is a five second auto loader but at the end of the day like this thing with its heat is not the most reliable if you've ever played the m51s from israel it's the same round so it has 400 millimeters of pen but it's a basic heat shell it's not heat fs and it has a little bit of a reliability issue of just getting one shot especially whenever it comes to a uh, vehicles at ERA. The death of this thing is whenever people either want some SL or they want to grind out China and they have the Type 692G, that vehicle is a little menace whenever it comes to this DF-105 because it has ERA bricks, which will easily defeat this round whenever it comes to War Thunder. Now, there's one thing about rank five that is something that I dislike wholeheartedly, and that is the amount of just ATGM tanks at this battle rating. So you have the Rackington Jag Panther II, which is a, uh, it's not a cyclos it's one that you gotta like control with your wasd it, i mean it can be good in situations you know it can go hold down and basically never get killed unless there's like cast in the air or you just have something like a cm25 which basically just hits you with the tow 2b but at the end of the day you have stuff like the martyr you have the bmp1 you have the martyr 1a3 and all these vehicles suck in my opinion the bmp being a little bit of an outlier i mean it's pretty good once you get it spaded but the bmp is a hit or miss vehicle for me sometimes it does really well sometimes it does very poorly and you know it's a it's an interesting vehicle but the martyrs in my opinion are probably some of the worst ifvs in the game so the martyrs only get the 20 mil which the uh, 1a3 does get the dm i think it's like 23 or dm 63 which is a ap uh, ds shell but the thing about the martyrs is is that they rely on the milan which is a terrible ATGM. The Milan is a very slow ATGM. I believe it has a velocity of like, what, 200 meters a second. So you're not gonna snipe out like planes in the air like you can with toes sometimes. But at the end of the day, these things only come with four of them. So you have a maximum of four ATGMs and then basically you're put into the role of a SPA or you have to go find a capture point to get you more ATGMs. These things, in my opinion, are struggle buses whenever it comes to War Thunder. I don't prefer them, but I do see, you know, them being useful in the lineup, especially as like a second or third respawn just because you can take down planes with them and then also you can you know have some sort of like uh you know anti-tank equipment but not the bus uh in my opinion i view these things as spa like uh, i don't really think that they're uh as good you know to use them as actual vehicles within the game i would rather just have the leopard or the m48 and then maybe a third spawn be a martyr whenever it comes to war thunder but yeah overall the rank five is really good you know you do have the mouse i guess we can talk about because it is a vehicle that does come back every year and if you want to get the mouse for war thunder you do need to get ranked five germany and then you'd be able to research it once uh you know october comes around of you know the year that you're watching this video in so the rank six for germany is something to be pretty proud of there's so many vehicles within this like rank that is kind of ridiculous compared to majority of the other tech trees within the game you even have some of the you know some more vehicles and even like the rank three and like rank four of germany which is crazy to think about as well the tam the puma you know the leopard 2k the leopard 2a4 all these vehicles are really good within the game you have some outliers like the rakuten yak panzer 2 hot which you know i wouldn't really say is a bad vehicle but it is uh got overshadowed especially since it was added way back when when it1 was even added and it's a vehicle that you know isn't the best anymore whenever it comes to war thunder but it can be very annoying if you have it in a hold down position the puma it, it really needs no like introduction it's just an incredibly annoying vehicle uh, you know the sound of it if you played around this battle rating it is just insane you know i got at least like whenever this thing first came out and was at like a3 easily got you know 10 plus nukes in this thing and it was uh pretty 
insane that it even had to face like seven three vehicles within war thunder the tam on, on in the other hand you know i kind of combine it with the leopard a1a1 these two vehicles are basically the same the only thing about the tam and i want some justice for the tam so if you're watching this video someone who knows how to make forum posts please go make a forum post on dog's behalf please for the love of god will the tam 2 ip go up in br or the tam get dm33 those are my two options it is ridiculous that the, both of those vehicles are the same battle rating and one of them is just better and it's a premium and in my opinion that's pay to win so please fix gaijin thank you now whenever it comes to um other things like the m48s you know you have like the m48 a2 it is an unstabilized vehicle that has the 105 but you do get some apfsd as an 8.0 it is all right you know it is a little bit of a struggle bus to get to that apfsds but you can use it to great effect m48 super is another m48 you know the same weak points on it are for every single m48 but you do have a little bit extra turret armor which can protect you from heat fs shells the kpz is a vehicle that got nerfed though you know the round on it isn't the best apfsds but I still think the mobility on it, if you get on the sides of vehicles, you should you should you should still do pretty well with the War Thunder. And then we have the new addition, which is the T72, which basically will cover in the Russian segment of you know one of these videos. The thing about it is the the rank itself is really good. You know, the weasel, you have some very interesting vehicles within the game. The Puma is probably the highlight of rank six. You know, the Leopard 2A4 is probably one of the best, you know, 10.0s within the game. And I do think like this is a pretty fun, you know, rank to just spade out you know the vehicles themselves are something to you know be fun of you know the Geppard at good old 8.0 is one of the you know biggest like problems for cast players and also tank players just because the thing can go around the map and do crazy stuff ocelot you know something to you know maybe not want because of just how those missiles work but yeah overall it's a really good rank i do recommend it it is the rank of you know a ton of event vehicles for germany and also a ton of premiums like the tam 2 ip once again please fix and then you know like the leopard 2 with the good old camo net on it so now on to germany with rank 7 and this should be a pretty short one actually so Germany at rank 7 doesn't really have that many vehicles. They have a total of 5 if you don't count the Leopard 2 PL. But basically, I mean, it's kind of just upgraded Leopard 2s. Like you have 2A5, you have the 2A6, which have some insane rounds for their battle rating. But, you know, the only thing to really talk about is like the TAM 2C. This vehicle is an in-the-line vehicle, so you don't really see it as much because like if we look at it, like how much is it? Yeah, like the rank 3 mods are like 24 each whenever it comes to, you know, spading this thing out. So you're basically never going to see these things until something gets added below it so you'd be able to you know decrease the grind of this thing because it's just a tam too like why would i want to you know grind it out i mean it's uh it's not really the best and there's a lot more like nine sevens to me at least that are just better especially like the leopard 2k now whenever it comes to their proper top tier the top tier for germany really isn't there you know they like it's sad to say right so if you want to play leopards and you just want to have the best leopards within war thunder germany is not the tech tree to play right now at least uh in the future though there's probably going to be leopard 2a7 there's probably going to be you know different variants of 2a6 even the 2a5 but for now at least if you just want to play leopards and you just want good leopards just play sweden sweden has 2a6s they have the 122s they have the 121s which are in this you know same texture as germany and they're just better like uh it's sad to say that but at the end of the day that's pretty much what you need to do if you want to play leopards the 2a5 is still a really good vehicle the 2a6 is still a really good vehicle the spas you know the flak the flak rad uh, i mean it's all right you know it's a uh, pretty good once you get the uh was it the rolling three on it which is a uh, pretty easy to come by and you also have the flak rad with the good old like you know tonka truck bus which is probably one of the best spas in the game so it is um you know it's interesting to talk about because the rank seven of germany is very lackluster whenever it comes to the amount of vehicles they have i do think that you know like i've said if you if you want to play leopards just go play sweden whenever it comes to the end of the day uh the the top tier of germany needs to be fleshed out a little bit more you know we need to have you know some more vehicles because right now if you count the leopard 2 pl i mean you can have three respawns but right now you only have the 2a5 2a6 and then that is it uh, maybe if you want to bring the 2a4 with you you can play that but yeah at the end of the day this rank is very anemic it's not something that i would recommend actually going for but it is uh you know pretty interesting to view within war thunder's you know ecosystem 
podcast. So I hope everyone has a wonderful video. I know this video is quite a bit longer, you know, to talk about each of the ranks. Hopefully one day though, uh, whenever it comes to this, like I'm very close in a couple of tech trees to having some of the stuff completely spaded out. And I don't know, do you guys want to see like videos of where I go through like specific vehicles? Like um, whenever it comes to different battle ratings within War Thunder, I might do that because, you know, especially whenever I'm spading out a vehicle, I would kind of like to do just gameplay of it and maybe just talk about my experience from it. But at the end of the day, like it's one of those things that's like, um, I don't know, it's kind of hard to do because like at, at one point you kind of want to just have fun playing the game, which is what I normally like to do. I just like to play the game for fun. But whenever you view uh, like making videos and everything, you kind of get biased towards what you're trying to do. Like you're either trying to get so many kills or you're trying to get so many, you know, you know, points, trying to spade it out very quickly. And I don't really want that biased perspective put into it. I'd rather it be like, I'm just trying to play to play. And then whatever gameplay comes out of that, I, you know, upload it to YouTube. But the only thing is you can't really do that with a live commentary. So we'll have to see how that type of stuff goes. But yeah, tell me in the comments if you want to see that sort of stuff whenever it comes to War Thunder. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next War Thunder video.